This is the website at grc.com, one of the best resources on the internet. Steve Gibson is very generous and his drop-down menus have a lot of really useful stuff. And his main product, Spinrite, is, uh, is great stuff. We are going to look at some of his services. The particular service we're looking at right now is his DNS spoofability test. So I'm clicking on that. And that brings up his explanatory text describing what happens. He says, DNS name server spoofability test. Can you trust your domain name servers? There are approximately 11,900,000 DNS name servers in the world on the internet. And even today, many of them have still not been updated to prevent the exploitation of this serious vulnerability. As you will see from the samples of the DNS name servers our users have tested many months after everything was supposed to be fixed, serious problems remain. So the question is, have all of the DNS servers you are currently using been updated? Is your use of the internet safe? Or might it be subject to this well-known and now readily preventable vulnerability? It is definitely not necessary for, for you to understand the fine details of the attack in order to determine whether your DNS servers might still be vulnerable. We've made that easy and automatic for you. Once you have read and considered all of the foregoing, the button below will initiate a comprehensive analysis of your currently configured DNS, DNS resolving name servers, to determine their susceptibility to Kaminsky-style spoofing. So when I click this button right here, it will begin Steve's DNS spoofability test. Now that we've read the background, I'm almost ready to click this button on Initiate Standard DNS Spoofability Test, but I notice that these links below that point on Steve's pages have the related information that he already discussed. There's a lot of good stuff here. Let's start. Initiate standard DNS spoofability test. Click. DNS name server spoofability test. It says, what's going on? The display of this page indicates a comprehensive search of all internet DNS name servers that respond to your system's requests for domain name lookups. As this process can take up to several minutes, some patience will be required. Once no additional name servers are being found, the search terminates and a comprehensive security and spoofability analysis of the test obtained from DNS name servers currently being used by our PC and web browser will be displayed. It says searching for all DNS name servers used by our system. I can see um, a chart is being built and uh, dots are being added as it's finding, as it's running through what he calls rounds of his tests. Well, I've got some totals for all rounds here servers found. It found just one server. Um, we did 224 queries to that server on each of five rounds for a total of 1,120 queries. It says, please see the guide at the bottom of this page for help interpreting the following analysis results. Here are the analysis results. Analysis of 1,120 queries from the server at 67.15.193.171. Anti-spoofing safety is excellent. Okay. Here are some charts showing the randomness that we want to see with respect to his way of analyzing these ports and query numbers. And in an ideal world, these would be unpredictable. And that uh, random-looking pattern is good. We wouldn't want to see straight lines or diagonal lines or evenly spread out patterns that were obviously um, in, an, in a simple mathematical sequence in either the horizontal or vertical dimension or both. Um, okay. He says that the bit predictability is low, the pattern predictability is low, all right, anti-spoofing safety is excellent. This is what you want to see. He tests various parameters to make sure that we're safe. And if you want to go deeper into these and what they mean, the details are all here in the various links and the explanations that we talked about and referenced earlier. If all you want to do is make sure you're okay, this is what you want to look for. Anti-spoofing safety, in my case, is excellent. There it is, Steve's spoofability test, analysis interpretation guide. Each of the various charts and options here are fully explained. Um, it's just really, really good stuff. I recommend that uh, 
People that are interested in AskMrWizard.com would also be interested in looking at this in detail and studying it out the way Steve explains it. Thanks for paying attention here. That's Steve Gibson's DNS spoofability test, and it is good stuff. Highly recommended for users of AskMrWizard.com.